the Constitution of the United States of America guarantees one's right to practice and believe freely in this country. And the definition of religion is very clear, and it's not defined by John Sweeney. And for you to repeatedly refer to my faith in those terms is so derogatory, so offensive, and so bigoted, and the reason you keep repeating it is because you wanted to get a reaction like you're getting right now. Well, buddy, you got it. Right here, right now. I'm angry, real angry. What is Tommy Davis doing when he's yelling at John Sweeney? What's the deal? There's a policy in the church called never defend, attack. Attack the attacker. A person that gives the slightest criticism of Scientology is defined within the church as an attacker. It's never looked at positive criticism or something that could up-engineer or evolve into something better. Any criticism is defined as attack. And the mindset within the church is rip open, rip the face of the attack. Get the attacker. Play on his ground. Don't even defend. Don't ever show evidence. Don't argue. Don't plead your case. Never do that. Attack the attacker. I want you to show what you would do. Mm. Okay, let's do a role play on camera. Mm. I'm a journalist. What do you have to say about the alleged human rights abuses in the Sea Org, Miss PR spokeswoman? You know what? You got human rights abuses at home. Do you beat your kids? No. What do you do? What do you do? No, I don't. Do you throw your kids in boiling hot water? No, they're good. You got crimes. No, I don't. You got crimes. I, I'm a good parent. You know what? what? You're you're being abusive to my religion, my no, I faith. Was just. This is bigoted communication. I, I was just. Do you go around slamming religions in the United States? Do you no, make money I wouldn't of that? Do it. No, I Are you would never. Your payroll? What's your payroll at the end of the no, week? No, I wouldn't. You're attacking my religion, my I, faith. I, I, no, 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 no. You're attacking. I'm a good You're person. A bigot. You're a bigot. No. You're a bigot. Do you get off on attacking religion? No, I don't. Is that I how was just. You obviously make your payroll at the end of the week by attacking faith. No, don't you? it's not like that. I just the First Amendment of the United States gives me the right to practice and believe my religion, and you're attacking my religion. Oh, you know what? Never that mind. That the I, IRS said I was, was just ta had tax exemption for being a religion. I was just on my way out. I think we'll drop the story. Nick started associating with vocal critics of the church, including Marty Rathbun and Mike Rinder, former high-ranking officials who quit and went public, making allegations on Nightline and elsewhere that the head of the church, David Miscavige, had physically struck subordinates. Miscavige just takes off across the room in front of 80 people and get delivered a, just a beating to the guy. I mean, beat him up bad. The church has repeatedly and strenuously denied those allegations while condemning both Rathbun and Rinder as liars and apostates. Nick was cast out of the church, declared a quote-unquote suppressive person. Scientology is outspokenly vocal in portraying itself as the poor, defenseless, virtuous victim being unjustly picked on by the rest of the world. The sheer, bold-faced duplicity and hypocrisy is breathtaking. It won't answer the question. Just like in the court of law right now playing out in Texas, they won't produce what's demanded in discovery. No, 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 we're not going on to our ground. We're going to attack who's asking us for that. Lance, what has being involved in this doco been like for you? Well, it, it, it is empowering because for up until now, nobody's been willing to speak out against Scientology. As soon as you do, they'll have lawyers sending you threatening letters like these, which they have here, right? These guys are serious at keeping you quiet. But since the documentary screened, I've seen other people that I've known from years ago are starting to come out and tell what they experienced too. The church, Office of Special Affairs, believe that if you repeat something enough times, it becomes true. So there's the repetition of the word 
John Sweeney of BBC Panorama had a button they found out on the word bigot. So it was drummed in, you're a bigot, you're a bigot, you're a bigot, you're a bigot. Push your buttons. Okay, People have emotional buttons. They have things that set them off. And, and they study you for that. And then watch you very carefully. You know, I mean, you always compare notes. I'm sure you and Tommy compared notes. Like, you know, he's got a button on this, so, you know, he's going to push it next time. But bigot. But, but on, bigot, there you go. That was the, the that religious was bigot, the, right? That I'm was not a bigot. I'm not a bigot. Some yeah, you are. You're a closed minded bigot. You, you are a bigot. You're the bigot. I, yes. Tom Davis, say John Sweeney is a bigot. Call me a bigot annoys me because I'm not a bigot. I understand that. But, but hold on a second. <laughs> But if I keep cutting you off like this, I will actually drive you nuts. If every time you start to say something, I cut you off, that's another way. If every time you start to say something, I cut you off, it's another way of getting you so that you become emotionally upset. It builds up like a dam. All these things you want to originate keep getting cut off, and it builds up like a dam, and finally it explodes. No, Julie, you stop! No! No, listen to me! You are no the attacker. And attack is relentless. I think that Marty Rathburn suffered a 199 day siege because attacking means go, 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 push the envelope, push the limit, push the limits of the law, attack, 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 attack. Don't think for a moment that Tommy Davis wasn't drilled. He was drilled and billed to make John Sweeney lose it. He was he sat down and hour after hour with another person he practiced. And if Tommy Davis was a little weak, his coach would have said, Funk, raise the, raise it, raise the anger, raise the tone level, cut it, cut his communication, flunk, start, do it again. So Tommy Davis went through a rigorous dry run to make the British panorama journalists lose it. And do you know what the church did? They raised money of it! Propaganda! They raised money from the flock to make DVDs of John Sweeney and they sent out something like 5,000 DVDs to various media showing John Sweeney losing it. So they, they actually raised money from the flock to send out DVDs. I want to tell you that certain media found this so spooky and so crazy. Media don't like to get a, a video of one of their colleagues losing it. David Miscavige micromanages these attack, attack, attack on any high value target. Mike Rinder, Marty Rathburn are high value targets because of their longevity and knowing where all the skeletons are buried.